unless there was some building in the Serbia. So I mentioned there was a torture that went on also in other uh, areas of the police station, Novo Mesto, you know? So unless there was like a building somewhere in Serbia, some other building similar to this one somewhere, uh, my description of where the director is located, like upstairs, I never made it past uh, past the entrance. The only place let me demonstrate to you in this building in real time, therefore not under MK Ultra. Let me demonstrate you this stuff. I'm trying to find Okay, I see you now. I never made it. Let me explain to you. Let me demonstrate you this. This is an entrance to the building. I never made it past uh, the building that you see right there in the rear area uh, where there was a court session adjourned uh, due to Novo Mesto is police support for the criminals from the Germany who have stolen me over $500 worth in parts, car parts, uh, which I have paid in for in 2007. Uh, never made it anywhere else other than to this room in the background in a real time, yeah? In a real time, never. And uh, basically, uh, through the room where they would meet with the people, which is, I assume, is is this or this room. I don't know which one it is. Uh, therefore, uh, entrance never made it through. And I don't think any one of you ever made it because uh, unless you were employee, you did not made it. But I can say to you something that I recall walking literally uh, through the corridor and uh, I think what it is and I'm not really not sure about it um, I'm thinking about that this is actually where you go uh, you know actually when I'm thinking about this stuff yeah, I'm thinking about this stuff this is quite an interesting issue the police would walk through here you know and I remember there would be there would be um, where you would walk, you would, uh, where they would take me for a walk from this part of the building uh, to the other part of the building where the administration is. Um, you know, uh, I would see this area here. You know, I would, I would see the, you know, as you go, the windows, you know, but then there is a big problem here with this stuff because of this here. Let me demonstrate you this issue here. Um, you get only to see that, but um, this here, you don't get to see this here. You don't. Actually, I didn't try to see if I, if I can see something like that. But um, Well, this is just not good enough, you know. This is not good enough. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this issue, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh -uh, I'm going to zoom as much as I can. I cannot zoom past this. I am going to take it this point like this. We're going to do. It's going to look like this. All right, now we can zoom into this thing, and I'm going to make you a description about this stuff here. Uh, not good today with this stuff. Okay, let's use this one here. Because what I demonstrated you right there, um, That's basically the way it works, this stuff. And, and it's interesting because we cannot see this. So I anticipated something might have been done literally to confuse about this issue here. All right, so 
But the second thing is, there could be a lot of stuff they have done this at the police, so the police director protecting himself. My best, and I should have taken longer to, to think over basically the way this looks upstairs, because I was taken back and forth through here. But it was also other buildings, definitely they did involve in it. Let me just go back to the front of the building. Uh, the rear of the building, they do not demonstrate one. The rear of the building is extremely, extremely important. Oh. Um, I think, yes, that uh, the rear of the building, the way this stuff is done, oh, uh, um very 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 difficult very very difficult because they used they they definitely did use other buildings into it into this stuff here but i am still gonna do my best to get the to seal the deal i am still gonna do this job right now because it might have been funny since i mentioned throwing a police director from his office right out on the street from basically from upstairs, you know, from the upper floor. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back here to this issue. This is what they were tutoring me. This is what they were suggesting me to do. And it was not actually physically, they physically in front of him. This is what he demanded, you know, this kind of stuff, the meeting with him ending with my grabbing him and throwing tossing him uh lately on the on the street um what you see here what you see here this here um it's 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 really kind of it's actually really confusing this stuff but then again when i use my iq it's not so confusing um Well, you see up there with this ample windows, this, the way it looks. During MKUltra, this was presented to me. It could have been maybe in Belgrade, could have been somewhere else. So they give you a touch the way what they did with me. It was presented to me like a room of the director where he would, uh, he would have a table uh in a large table and behind him there will be uh this glass uh if you would face um uh, if you would face his um uh, if you would face his um face him you would look right through the window Basically, not right to the window, but toward the window, and he would be facing toward inside of the building. So his back would be toward this window that you see right there. Now, this is extremely, extremely, most likely extremely, extremely non-realistic stuff because they post to me probably in a Serbian Chetnik state, in a Serbia the greatest, uh, with this issue. Um, exactly what you see, right? You see how it's curved this year? There is no way you can come anywhere near the police station. They, they actually even warn me about coming anywhere near. But, tale lok, uh, kuka You see this here? Uh, it exactly, exactly the office that I mentioned to you right now. It fits. It fitted exactly the profile that you see right there. So this must have been done in Republika Chetnička Serbia. Stuff like this. This police is a scum here at this police station. 
And one of the people who was in charge for this was my neighbor, the police investigators, and their job was basically to misrepresent at the order of the police directors who participated in this stuff. Truly, the whole thing as much as possible. But I don't think they did successfully because I'm going to break this thing down right now. So I can tell you that for what I know here, the description here just doesn't match the criteria because the room where I was in, that looks rather like curved with the windows and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And um, what's happening here with this stuff here, um, this here, uh, basically from what I recall, um, it's like uh, this. I'm going to go back to this a profile. We're going to do it like this. I'm going to, oh, this here, based on my memory, is just a balcony. This here. This is a balcony, actually. Um, this is a very, very high possibility where the office from directory is actually, it is, most likely. Uh, but what you see right there, most likely even is a balcony. This was what went on with this balcony. They added this balcony. I think the year when they added this balcony, hell that I'm not sure about it. Um, it could be doubtful about this. The year could have been like 2001. I think actually 98, 2001, uh, between 98 and 2001, something like this when it comes to the balcony based on police account when they deliver me to the police station. Can I guarantee for that stuff? No. No, I cannot. Um, let me demonstrate you why I cannot guarantee for this stuff. This is how you know. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate you how the MK Ultra works and what most likely is because this is the stuff. You know that's why I don't like these people because they brain fucked with me. They twisted shit with other locations and so on, and you just you know. I'm gonna stop short here. Look. I'm going to use blue color to indicate like an office. This, during MK Ultra, suggested to me like they were like, like this. Uh, maybe like this, you know, smaller office and like a big office that was from the director that was located right where this balcony is, like this. Um, is this true? Is this is what it is? Who the fuck knows? I have no clue. I would have to go behind the building. Get this company here, what is this, a Mercur, whatever, to see that. But I am not going to be doing this kind of stuff because that doesn't make me any fucking sense. It doesn't make me any sense. What makes sense is my witnessing about what went on at the police station. That's what actually is efficient. They did different accounts. Okay, so now somewhere close as I can come to uh, is what basically grabbing the building from a bow like this. And do a completely, um, there was another building that was involved in that. In that building, and I know that this is not the one. In that building, they had uh, the windows of the building connected like this glassy again glassy thing like this just like you see right there um and then it would be uh it would be for what the fuck i recall is they would have um it would like you go through, through, and then it would be a passage here, like this. The passage would be on this side, like this, of the building. And then the offices would be like this. 
So this was yet another building they had me in. Was this this a police building? Was this it? Uh, and that was the building when they insisted, where they insisted me also, uh, where they sit me with the police director and talk to me about throwing him also out of the window. Uh, it was also done that the building, this was not done on one occasion, this kind of stuff, police did. And it was another building, uh, as I suggested, that had a glass door like this. Uh, actually, the glass windows like this, with a director sitting in the office with what appeared to be like a ample windows behind, which was rather would fit to this here, to this, exactly to this here. So this here, this is not what I'm saying it was. This was another building they had me. I'm going to remove this shit here away. No, I'm going to leave that one right there. Um, and zoom myself out of this stuff so that you see basically what uh, reality when it comes to MK Ultra looks like. So that you get the taste for reality. Uh, people do not understand anything what MK Ultra is. People are laughing about this stuff. You know, the thing is, there's nothing funny about it. That's the thing. There's nothing funny about this stuff. Um, so, before I go to this issue, hold on. Before I, before I finish this issue, because this is most likely what it is. Um, most likely, this is what it is. It's most likely that this is what it is. They had so many different versions, you know. <laughs> it's just difficult to tell what, which one it is. Um, <sighs> I think it was like in 2000, 2017, 2018, that they would bring me upstairs and have me sit in this area here. This was like a sitting area where you would sit and wait to be called, like some kind of waiting area or something like that, before you would uh, head to towards uh, this area, you know? And what I am basically referring to right now would... Uh, uh, With my theory, the way I, I actually, I'm not excluding it from possibility. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a cookie. It's quite a cookie, this stuff. Um, it's a tough one. It's a tough call. Uh, you know why the tough call this is? Let me demonstrate to you. This is a tough call because this is a very, very ample area. Very, very ample area. The building itself, the reality, we go to talk about the reality. Uh, the building itself is like this. I'm going to use the red color to finish this building off completely. The building is done like this. And this is also what, what I have problem also because of what I mentioned to you earlier. Uh, the building is learned like this with you having offices on both sides of the building. It's like this. 
This will be a passage. This here, like this. I feel that this is what it is, that you have offices like this. Um, like, go. Oh. It's a very, very difficult building to break down. And you really have to know what the fuck you are talking about. Otherwise, you go wrong about it. And you can go wrong about it very, very easy. Like this. This is based on my memory when it comes to this building. When compared to all other buildings. This will be offices, basically, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? On both sides of the hallway. Yeah, so you have a hallway in the middle. This is important to note, I think, because where you go through this area here, where you go through this area here, through this area here, um, this is just an ample area, like this, basically. Um, this passage will continue with, I think, if I go here, um, you would go, uh, that it would be something like this, just like this, one more time, like this, yes? Uh, and I am not, I'm not decided about, this is what I have the problem with it. And I'm going to do something else here. Uh, I'm going to do much more here. Uh, they have had, oh, hold on. There is some chance for me to see. Oh, look at that. Shit. I should have taken time and see this stuff, but no, I'm not going to be doing any of that stuff. Uh, I am just going to do it like this. I mentioned this in the video yesterday. I never have done it. Really, I never, never paid attention to this issue. I never paid attention to this issue. I'm just going to have a touch one. Yeah, usually you could go, you could get to the, to the, to the, you could access the, the area, the vicinity of the police and see that, but, and this is the thing, actually I don't need this stuff, you know, um, It goes to show that this is this is a really really shitty stuff because so many different stories they involve in it. Uh, basically, I deem that the kind of office they talked about, um, I don't think it existed anywhere. I don't think it existed anywhere. Um, I believe that as you go through this corridor here and it, it will continue throughout the building like like this you know I assume that it's something like this um, I assume that uh, that this area here Holy shit, it's a big one. Let's go like this. I'm gonna do it like this. Copy this. I I assume that this area here assume this side basically of the of the hallway. Yeah. That this is more like rooms for the copy machines, toilets, that kind of stuff. And based on my memory, when they they played with my throwing out the director from the building right on the street, basically smashing through the window, uh, they insisted me 
that he's located here, that his office is here. And then his office is here. But when I go back with my memory, when I go back in time with my memory, it appears to me that his office is here, right in the back like this. You understand me, what the fuck I am saying? You would know about all this stuff if you were not inside of the building. So, I mean, you can laugh all the fuck you want, but you got a trouble. I don't know, any kind of magic friends that will go in there and take photos and pictures and shit and report back to me with... I didn't have any of it. It was this police here that heard nothing, knew nothing, heard nothing, saw nothing, and heard, and, and knew nothing about what went on. It was Mount Everest of torture that went on. You see where those numbers are, one and two? And you, do you see this here? Do you see this here? Do you see this area here? The, what appears to me was a waiting area. It was Mount Everest of torture that went on. From here, where the X is, and all the way to the 10. You have no fucking idea what the police director alone, what the police directors alone were doing to me at this police station. You, do you understand me, what the fuck I'm saying to you? I didn't say stuff I mentioned yesterday in respect to my father that they did to me on the 24th and 25th using my father out of just something like this or throwing a police director from a police station like just something. I didn't say that to you uh, to play, to joke with it. I told you because this shit was real, because this stuff went on. In years they had me probably in God knows how many fucking buildings with a police investigator, with a police director posing in it. I remember one also was in Maribor. There was also some building in Maribor, in the Slovenian city Maribor. It was something to do with the Maribor also. They were so fucking desperate. They were looking for buildings they could match. They could look inside this and that and twist and fucking come up with all kinds of stories, uh, all kinds of issues and so on. At one point in time, it's very, very, very possible. They went ahead and they placed even, uh, in this area here, might have placed even, uh, you know, a desk and, um, you know, there is another possibility of this shit that I have not thought about, that I'm thinking about right now. Um, Another possibility would be that, and I don't know how wide is this. I should go to a police station and see this uh, to get an idea to understand. Because this, this is this is quite ample. I mean, I see the car. You see, you see the car. Um, this is about at least like four meters, five meters, probably ample. This this space here. You see this? This is probably five meters ample. From I am cooking something. And it's also more likely than possibility because, you know, this, basically this would add up to like eight meters, right? I mean, if you go here, then you look at this stuff here. Um, this shit is 50-50 almost, kind of. Yeah. When you look at it like that, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was thinking about something else. When I stated to you the director office, uh, right there at the top. This goes way back in time, you know, understand? I'm not really sure about this stuff. Whether
Oh, well, let me see something else here, though. It's not so... There is like a possibility there would be something like this. I do not know. Uh -huh, I already have it here, which is I don't need to. Oh, time to change it. Uh, if this is true or not, I do not know. Sometimes in, it must have been a year like, Two thousand and one or something like that. It appeared to me that they set up like uh, artificial office of the director here in this part, in this part, in this portion of it. You know, it was a phone, it was a desk, and they started to fuck with me, convincing me that this is now his office. Uh, police director, old police director, because of the torture that went on. Until 2000, there was Mount Everest of torture that went on inside of this building here, in the back of this building here, in this offices here, in the back here. Um, didn't like the idea about my having the ability to identify this stuff. That's why I know that what I'm doing right now eventually is going to pay off. Because it's not one time, it's not one shot just like this something like that yeah um is like a chance that that this would be an office actually on the left side with this window here open also that you see right there i would say rather not i don't think that this would be his office um there however could be there might be a possibility that the balcony which i indicated you the stuff i am doing i was also explained in front of the computer brainwashed with the police and all kinds of versions um but this balcony that you see right there um that that this this is where his office will be located what you see the blue thing right there that that will be a possibility of it but i mean they made me guess you know they wanted me to guess let me see that okay so they wanted me to guess where the office is located, where the office would be located, you know? So I think, actually, his office is located right here, that you see number 12, in this area here, that this here would be where his office is really located, in this area here. Um, as for this area here, um, or this here, the possibility of this here. This is where I think, like, uh, most likely is the case. One or the other with number 10. Um, with number 10, I think, uh, is the correct answer to it. Uh, as to this here, to this issue here about this uh, balcony, this kind of stuff here, um, I do not bite any of this stuff. I <laughs> I don't think it is. So I'm going to take a black color like this. I'm going to take this here. And I'm going to go and do it like this. I think they had another building. 
playing with it and not this one here um i actually i am even um, this is not even actually this is not even a balcony this is not a glass balcony i also they had me there they had me here this is where the police would go also like this let me demonstrate with this one here this is where the police uh no i did unplug the electricity so it's all good the police would be going like this here they would go here and they would go down the stairs it's like a stair stairway that goes down and it goes straight to the garage area which is here in the background this is what this is because they had me whenever they took me out for a torture missions they will put you inside of the vehicle inside of the police vehicle and they would deliver you to a certain location where people will rip you apart with police officers investigators that will be present or sometimes even uniformed police officers that would pick you up or be around in the area uh doing their terror basically terrorist this is a terrorism i'm sure that you understand that the proper unit to investigate this kind of issues is the anti-terrorist unit this is a job that belongs to the military literally it'll be the job that should be literally the first thing that should have been it should have been anti-terrorist unit dispatched to this police station if the proper order of investigation was to take place because this is a terrorism this is a domestic terrorism there is no greater way to describe terrorism than the way i described a terrorism domestic terrorism this is a domestic terrorism enforced by milan kuchan see this that's basically the way that goes so that's no glass no glass shit like this this is just like a walk concrete stuff that will take you down i think that's used to de-elevate to the garage area to the to the lower area um i don't know why i ain't got no fucking idea why but um you know This portion of the building here sounds to me also very, very familiar. Um, so here I am referring to uh, this issue here. No, no, this one here. This is what I. This is also what I have on my mind, and I'm not really sure because, um, you know, I don't know if it would be possible, but that actually like it makes me feel like it's like a uh, wardroom area like the police officers when they would return from uh from assignments they would actually head and change clothing in this area here you know you know what i mean with some kind of also uh some kind of classroom also so this this seems to be like this would be actually like a like an area where uh uh police would also uh they would have some kind of classes stuff like this and change the clothing and so on yeah but when it comes to this here because this is where i had the senate this is where the court session took place when i took the police when i complained against the police and won the case at the police station against the police uh let's call this one here 100 oh they had me all over these rooms including where they had this session um they refer to that as like a training area and so on um yes for certain things but um for some other things it's also here where it is uh, also this wardrobe this where they for the stuff um actually this is kind of also questionable issue because of what i just stated to you the problem with this issue is this here this here is the biggest problem with it uh with the police we were always coming from this direction and then we will de-elevate down into the garage area do you understand what i'm saying we did not go uh um 
we didn't go from this area here okay so for me to do it like this we didn't go from this area here at least that's what it appeared we didn't we never went from this area here and the elevate down and this and that um with the police uh, when we went on an assignments uh, clearly we were always heading this way and let me see one more thing so what i would do uh, when it comes to this here um yeah i would say that this all together that you see here even as much as it's really tempting um yeah there would there there would be a possibility to do something like this i don't see why why it wouldn't be a possibility to also as they brainwash me that uh it would be like that this here that this would be like that they did something like this for the director this is also what they brainwashed me with but you know what i think i think that this here this is most likely really is a waiting area here the lobby basically that divides the police officers, uniformed police officers, and the administration side. You know? Um, but this window here, uh, it's actually really tempting. But um, the office I was in it, and for what they also claim me that this is the from, uh, from where director is that actually he is right here or right here something like this no um i don't even think that this was the theory that they came up with that let me see something uh i don't think that this would be that this was his new office that they created a new office for him in like 2001 i don't think that that's valid um that this will be his assistant of the police director that's a strong possibility but if that was to take place maybe uh it would be on a much lesser scale and i would not even go for these windows that you see here and would instead uh that assistance of the police director maybe is here located yes but the director of the police it's at number 10 just as i suggested on this video and that's basically all i have to say about this video uh, i don't have anything actually to say about it let me see something else um the police the police force would not de-elevate into the garage area through designated corridor which i demonstrated you in the rear of the building from the upper area they are based down here uh eventually the middle floor would be the one uh the main um movement area let me demonstrate you this what that looks like <clears throat> okay the rookies um i'm going to tell you about how is with the rookies and with the more experienced police officers if you don't mind uh so they will be using the middle floor they will be using the middle floor to to de-elevate to enter the garages uh, and the rookies, I understand, they are positioned on the first floor. So we have again here, um, most likely this is where they have their, um, the clothing and stuff, uh, wardrobe. Uh, actually, the wardrobe area, I think, yes, I think the rookies start on the first floor. Where they report for the stuff and they have it uh as to um police officer police force goes up floor above and you could have also something also with some administration here in the upper area uh, the higher the floor 
the higher the ranking officers in that sense it was presented to me this so that's all i gotta say i could do more i'm just doing this on a quickie because i mentioned yesterday the issues with which police have brainwashed me uh with the psychiatrist cops who incited me literally in tossing father through the window literally from the home for elderly people after subjecting me to the torture to the severe torture at the home for elderly people they would go on with the sessions like this literally literally crazy stuff the next video that's going to come about is going to be about what father did to me on 24 and on the 25th last month for april of 2024 i didn't like that actually you know where the wardrobe is located the wardrobe should be located here this is where you basically let me see that this is where you go and you do your um hearing whenever you report the crime and then the wardrobe for the rookies was located somewhere here like this in this area something like this where they would come and report themselves a rookie means the newer police officers I'm not going to say trainees but already uniformed when they start this area here is for the rookies below on this side here on this side of the building on this side of the building this is how they brainwashed me with you understand is it true is it not true who the fuck knows soon we're going to know what the truth is what not many many brainwashings that apply to many different buildings they all went into fucking dust right now because they exercised mount everest of bullshit to teach me something that did not fucking exist you could i could easily fuck myself coming up with all kinds of theories it would be really bad for me it just came really expensive to me because i made a mistake saying stating what i stated the wardrobe area um this was a young female police officer that brainwashed me that uh what you see here this windows here that this is where for the rookies is uh and in the evening hours or probably was 2013 or something when they threw me in the psychiatric hospital she was doing a breakdown to me the wardrobe area is here in the back this here this is where they change the uniforms i think based on my memory they would always rush and change uniforms here to be particularly exact you must be here well, let me see if i can enter this area here in the parking lot are they gonna allow me no okay so i already indicated to you this is what 100 percent is because this shit goes back to <clears throat> in the beginning of the time when they still made some mistakes i would say that the wardrobe area would be this area here this area like this here 
that this will be a vulnerable area this year, which you see right there. That's what I would say. I would say this is where the police officers change their uniforms. And also from what I recall, something happened sometimes like in, you know what the situation was in like, <clears throat> Like 95, 96, 97, et cetera, et cetera, you know. And I think they changed, at least this is what they insisted to me. Uh, the area for the upper floor, floor, I'm not sure about it. Uh, sometimes like in 2000 and, let me, let me figure out this number. They lied, you know, they, li they, they lied tremendously a lot. Um, a good feature, right, when you consider the police, why the fuck not? Uh, for this area, this is what they started to insist me, that it would be this year. Um, I am just evaluating right now what the chances are that this will to take a place. Um, I would say wardrobe is this here. This area here, this. Um, actually, <clears throat> further, a little further inside, something like this. It is possible that they have these two floors here, first and the second floor upstairs for the police force. But I'm not sure. Um, let me, let me see how big this is. I think that for the certain police force, yes, for the certain police force. So <clears throat> what I actually think is that there is a strong possibility they have it on both floors now since 2005 but the strongest possibility is this one here this was this goes to the oldest wardrobe area this year but yeah uh they upgraded i think like actually even 2003 something like that also to the upper floor this is where you would have uh, the wardrobe area not where this police investigator started to brainwash me uh, with what I suggested you here. This here did not, uh, this actually, this here, this area here. This was not a wardrobe area for the rookies. I doubt it that rookies were treated any different. Um, the information for which I stated you about a ranking like the higher the ranking the the higher it goes uh yeah i mean uh, i'm thinking about investigators and stuff um well, that's an interesting issue see i have not thought about that one um i have not thought about that one very very tricky stuff very very tricky stuff um when it comes to investigators you know i don't know i have to think about it because some of these police investigators one time were also police officers and it's a little bit necessary to take a little deeper evaluation about it if not all of them. Um, I rather probably that every one of them at one point in time was a police officer. I don't know. This back area just became very, very interesting to me. Um, because 
it just became really, really interesting to me, this area here, because they also suggested me investigators. However, the question is if this is the right building. This is where the problem is, you know. This is, again, where the fucking problem is. That they have here offices on the first floor. To me, personally... Actually, that they have the office, or something like that, or two. Yeah, holy shit! You know that that you just park your car and you rush right past this investigation, and, and you run inside. Um, there is a strong possibility that they have offices right next to the parking lot, investigators. It's a very, very, very strong possibility. It's a very, very strong possibility. This is what they brainwashed me with, at least. Or whether they were using other building, I do not know. Uh, based on MK Ultra, like your first memories about the police investigators, however, he has suggested me they were based on the upper floor here, right up here, in this area here. You understand me what the fuck I'm saying? You will understand me. They lied a whole a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So that will be upper floor. This here, do you see these numbers here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is where you would have investigators. At least portion of it. It is a strong I don't know. They they had investigators move throughout the buildings, throughout the building. I don't know. Is it the entire police department that moved? Um, were certain individuals that were moved due to promotion? That definitely is a fact. But um, you see this area here. This this area here. This is where the police investigators were. This area here. This, this windows here. This. Well, just as I, the upper area was reserved for the investigation, from what I remember, from what I recall. This is the investigation area. So the girl fucked with me. Uh, and now it's probably even worse. I don't know. I personally think they have more than one office. They're not only in one area. I personally think they have three areas in this building reserved for the police investigators. That's what I think. I think that a police investigator whom I have met, uh, actually who met me when requesting for my father's medical files I'm thinking about something uh, with even I don't know they talked about something they transferred him into the administration building sometimes in uh, there was something like this that they transferred him I don't know I don't know um, a little bit hard to tell this is more and more and more information that's going through my head and i'm just gonna stop here basically based on what i gave you yeah so the upper area of the building that you see right there this will be one area where uh is heavily occupied by the police investigators with the possibility that there is even in the back of the building um Let me just see something here. Just if it's in the back of the building, which to me doesn't, um, doesn't make any fucking sense here because I don't know, man. 
there is actually a chance for that. See, shit, I was the other day there and I did not pay attention to this stuff. Unless there's a sliding doors now. Uh, and the building was not, this is not the right building in that case. They had me in another building trying to convince me they had office, investigation office. There is exactly one investigation office here in this background here. One investigation office is here. There is one investigator, something like this, that was in this area. Or it might have been one of the people that, but that must have been investigator. Because he were civil without uniform that he worked there. This one office that be, that supposedly would belong to the police investigator. Uh, that stuff might have even expanded to two, three offices maybe even that they have here for the investigators. That's on the first floor basically. That's also a possibility. Let me see what else is here. This is it. This is pretty much it. This is pretty much it. This is this is basically This is what I think <clears throat> this stuff was. This is how this stuff was. This is what I think it was. Um Let me see something else here too. Well, I should do this stuff by walking around the building, at least spend some time staring at the building. Um, but, uh, yeah, it would be easier to see this building because you see certain windows and stuff like this and you'll recall about, you know, things um oh shit um in this upper area i see i see i see this here too oh fuck man um here uh they also have offices okay so now we get Holy fuck, eh? this is actually like this, I would say. Um, we're going to upgrade this stuff here. Oh, this is what they were afraid for me to see during MK Ultra. At one point in time, it was like total freeze. You know. I would say in the area here that you see... that this area here would be even somewhat at least it was also reserved for accounting and stuff like that administered also some kind of I say administrative but they did have some uh, accountant something like that office um they had investigator they had probably i think they had like a two investigator Three investigator offices here. One, two, three investigator offices. That's what I would say. Uh, but the main stuff when it comes to investigation is actually in this area here in the back. On the top floor where it says 100. This here would be a main investigator for the investigators area right here. This would be, oh, this this here, this would be like, this here, this here would be, this is what I firmly, in this area, in this portion, you, you understand me? This, I, again, I have to be very careful with it, with this stuff here. Like this, something like this, yeah, something like that. That's what I remember. They also had here, investigation area. This was for the investigators. How much of this floor did the investigators practically occupy? I don't know, 
But I know that this windows here, when I saw these windows here, this is where the investigators are. This is where the investigators were. Uh, I'm thinking about something else here. I am considering now the chances where there might have been another building they had used or something like that. But no, this is legitimate because it goes to year, ha, ah, fuck, I don't know, 97, something like that. Uh, and they were sure that I'm totally fucked up, dead, completely. They had nothing to fear. Um, the upper floor, see that? Those little windows right there. Investigators, investigators. There you go. So how do you use this basically to finish off this breakdown on this building here? I like that. So a uh, very very bad girl, very very naughty girl. She liked also McDonald's and shit. Uh, too much McDonald's for her, I think. She she should. She should reduce that. I'm going to see if I see her sometimes. Very, very, very bad girl. Uh, dark haired girl. Um, she entertained me here in this area. Uh, explaining me about the rookie business. Uh, let me see what year was that. Two thousand twelve, two thousand thirteen, without a doubt, mistake she made. As I remember her. With like a darker hair. And uh I think she ate too much McDonald's. It's not too far from here. And consequently I think Booty grew her up too much. I don't know, I don't know. Let me see that. Yeah, it's behind this building here. It's really... Well, I'm gonna say... Before I say... I'm gonna say... We love it at McDonald's, but in Slovenia it's really expensive, but still... No longer affordable choice for me, but... Thanks for watching this video! Till next time! Psychiatrist cough for sure that this is not gonna last, but hey. It's like an energizer bunny, it keeps going. Maybe what's interesting about this police station also, when it comes to this police station, is another issue I'm gonna mention to you. It's also an interesting one. Uh, this is this is what we are talking about here. This is what is this mega police station their whereabouts what's interesting about this police here oh they're gonna get a lot of attention one of these days they're gonna get the treatment of their own what's interesting about these people is this here was 1996 when i had a 595 when i had a fight a physical fight, literally, inside of this, uh, not really physical fight, but I was tortured in 96 inside of this office here by the police uh, investigator who was in there. Uh, what's interesting is when it comes to these wardrobes that I had spoken about earlier, is that uh, right here at the corner that you see, um the office belongs to the head of the police uh uniformed police officers probably i would say like a supervisor you know and i think that's actually even the police investigator uh something maybe like right across the wardrobe had his also office something like this it was Maybe another interesting fact, 
I know there is an office, uh, two offices, one office uh, supposedly belong to the a supervisor here from this uniformed police officers or maybe supervisor in duty or something like this and another one uh, on the other side of this where you enter this wardrobe area something like this uh, to the police investigator something like this um, you know, if I if you would go all the way you go to the end and um, <clears throat> right where it says here fuck let me see this so oh, I haven't seen that look at that all of a sudden this letter has appeared uh, I haven't seen them earlier look hey that's funny um, I would say that's uh that's where the supervisor is um, two offices and I think that he also has investigator working next to one at least at one point it had I don't know about what the situation is now uh, but they changed these offices they changed locations um, I'm just trying to picture this if you go across here you go down and oh no, that's going to be easier for me to do it tick 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 and uh, yeah I would say that this is this was reserved for uh, supervisors for uh, supervisors for not even supervisors really like a commander of the of this uh, of the uniformed police in that sense I would say um, and as you would go to as you would go here I don't uh, I shouldn't say that maybe uniformed uh, maybe that's very very hard to very 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 hard to figure out this place here very very difficult one very very difficult one when it comes to this uh, F-U-C-K issue um, this I don't know since when this stuff when, when, when have they taken this stuff here when the F-U-C-K what the hell is the date here when they this is 2024 uh, they brainwashed me with this issue fuck in front of the computer and claim me that there is actually that there is like investigator that was involved in it that also works in that area one of the investigators right there that is uh, I doubt it because in front of the computer the sign that you see right there fuck and stuff like that it's not easy that in the building that is so protected like the one you see right there uh, unless the police want you to do this kind of stuff police was involved in a lot of graffiti issues Pol police participated and enforced even malicious graffiti work throughout the city of the Novo Mesto and I have firm proofs for that during MK Ultra. literally police did it you can have you can see when you go toward a bus station where the fuck goes on or around the touche um i already did photographs the stuff all that stuff was involved in mk ultra with literally police in with in a police presence they painted shit so don't be that stuff about that f-u-c-k-a that i say that might have not even been there yet when they painted one in my head so the stuff I'm saying basically is what I'm saying is this office here th this is an office here this is office area here these three windows that you see from what I recall this is an office and they did have something to management at least some kind of management was in there what well, fucking management was in there I don't know um, the office they brainwashed me with which should be 
in in the rear here um no i think that's actually really it's got to do with the wardrobe issues and what became the main wardrobe area is up here on this upper floor above the above, above this floor that you see right there this is the main 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 wardrobe area i think where they change uniforms and stuff um this here this doesn't look to me like fucking office this here this stuff here yeah is there like a possibility there was an investigator also in there yeah it is it is a possibility there was there was a investigator over there uh it's a possibility that uh i don't know investigator next to some uh It's a possible, is this like a possible that there were like uh, police commanders here located in this area? I do not know. They did try to make impression about it. I I, I don't know. This, this windows here that you see here, this, this in this last office here. I just recall that they brought me here and it was totally wild. This was at large, this room here. This was one of the biggest torture areas in this police station. This here. And they had some older police officers that was like here. I think personally, uh, like higher ranking police officers, they did have them here in this area. In this area. Yes, they did, I think. At least, unless it was for the torture purposes. I did not like these people. They were campaigning for nobody else than Milan Kojan from day one. I didn't want to have nothing to do with them. I didn't want to see the fucking police station anywhere in the map because they were so much involved. They were involved in so much torture. If I would go and start to think about the stuff they have done to me inside of this police, I would go fucking insane. So I consciously blocked. That had anything to do with this police station as Janis Ogolin, who was totally acquainted with the torture. This is the guy who enforced the torture of the police inside of the police. Totally acquainted. You know, the year was like 1995. Actually, let me think over this stuff. The year was like 1993 when he was here in this area. Here, he they had other people and he was assisted. Uh, he was like an assistant. It's where it all started, you know. Um, and uh, he assisted, you know, or they assisted him, or whatever the fuck went on. Um, Giannis Ogolin at the time. Uh, you're talking about '93, '92. Uh, this is when the things started to happening for him, you know, at this police station. And um, I remember some older guys that he was next to them and he was assisting them with the torture. Um, and it was in this area, the first torture of the police that would take place, it was in this area here, in this, in this area here. This, this goes to 92, 93. They wanted to get me fucking killed inside in this building. You don't understand. In 92, 93, they wanted to fucking kill me. They wanted to fucking kill me here. What this area here is, is very important. This this was some kind of area where there would be like a commanding officers inside. Commandant Polizisca Postaje. But probably, I'm not too far from saying assistant from the commander from the police station. Maybe commandant, assistant of the commandant police. You understand me? So... Um, this sounds and looks very, very, very familiar. This is a perfect job for swap team for the anti-terrorism, domestic anti-terrorism, for the military swap, actually. Excellent case uh, to literally surround the building, get the police out, uh, get the police to the proper location to interrogate about this issue, 
get the information out of them wherever they can, get, confiscate the files they have, material, uh, learn about what they have, uh, and simply take those responsible, or even most responsible, uh, to the trial. Trial them, bring them to the justice. Uh, so to say maybe it's time to expand the structure of the prison of the prison system in Slovenia maybe it's time to increase maybe it's time maybe it's a great time to invest in the prison system in Slovenia this is a whole a lot of people that are due to this beginning with this police station now we got to start somewhere like they say so I think this is like an excellent, excellent, excellent location. I can describe the people, actually. I'm saying this shit because I can describe the people. This blue-eyed guy with white mustaches. Another one was like semi-bought Slovenian people. As it appeared to me, actually, that Ogulin had an office behind not on this side but even behind this office here you understand me and we're talking about 92 93 you will fucking understand me we will see each other again no worries